Welcome everyone to the Snowboarder Project video tutorial. In this tutorial and with this project we're going to be learning some new skills in Flash. Those will be the frame by frame animation techniques, how to use the onion skin feature in Flash, how to create and utilize different scenes, and how to add audio to our animations. So after we've opened up Flash and created a new Action Script 3.0, we first need to change the color of our stage. And we want a nice blue color to represent the sky for our animation. We also need to change our FPS to 12 frames per second. And finally we need to draw in the background for our animation. I'm going to use the brush tool with a white color. I'm just going to draw a nice slope to represent the mountain of snow that our snowboarder will be snowboarding down. And you can, of course, close this area off and use the paint bucket tool to create our mountain. Once you've drawn in your mountain, Use F5 on your keyboard to extend the layer out to frame 30. So I'll go ahead and show you. I've gone ahead and drawn in a background of a mountain for our snowboarder to snowboard down. So now we need to import the snowboarder figure. Again, you go up to File, Import, Import to Library. And locate the picture of the snowboarder that is located in this project folder on Blackboard and import that to your library. You'll see it will import the image of the snowboarder and it will also automatically create a symbol containing the snowboarder figure. So I'm just going to rename our symbol so we know what it is. Make a new layer for our snowboarder and select the first frame that currently contains an empty keyframe. Click and drag your snowboarder symbol out onto the stage and place it at the top of our mountain. The way we're going to animate this snowboarder is to create a new keyframe at every single frame in our timeline and move this symbol slightly in position to create continuous movement. The best tool to, to have um, during this process is this free transform tool. It allows us to not only move our snowboarder but also rotate him um, to make him match up with the mountain. So on frame one I'm just going to rotate him and orient him with the start of the mountain and get him ready to move. Use F6 to create a new keyframe 
at the on the very next frame and move that snowboarder very slightly in position. And you're going to repeat that process until our snowboarder makes it down the mountain. Be sure to only move the snowboarder slightly. So the movement will not look choppy when we view the animation. Flash contains a feature called the onion skin um, to help us generate nice smooth movement with a frame by frame technique. To turn on your onion skin, there is a small button underneath the layers. Click it one time to turn on the onion skin and you will see a black bar appear above your layers on the numbers. You can adjust the length of this bar to show you further down the timeline on different frames. And you'll see what the onion skin does is it creates a nice shadow or silhouette of where that snowboarder figurine has been at these different frames along the way. So you can see where your snowboarder has been and where it's going. It will help you make nice smooth movement. So with onion skin turned on, repeat that same process by using F6 to create a new keyframe and move the snowboarder slightly in position. Always remember to make your keyframe with F6, make the keyframe first and then move your snowboarder and make rotational adjustments if needed. I'm just going to finish up moving my snowboarder down the mountain frame by frame. When you arrive at scene 30, the snowboarder figure should be moved entirely off your stage, um, like it disappeared to a different part of the mountain. And notice that my the length of this part of my animation is exactly 30 frames. The next step in this animation is to create a new scene with um, with flash so if you go up to the top and choose insert 
and seen at the bottom, what happens is it will give you a blank canvas to start again. Now my, my background color is still there, but it gives me a blank canvas with new layers and everything like that to start again. So I'm basically going to do the same process for, for scene two, make a new contour of the mountain that looks a little different. Add a new layer and pull in your snow border and animate him going down the mountain again. Now I'll show you what scene two may look like when you get done with scene two. Now there are two ways to view the different scenes in Flash. The first way is to click this little clapper right above the the stage area and it will bring up all of your different scenes. Now I have four scenes in this animation so it will bring up all of your different scenes so you can view them there. The other way is to go up to the top, choose Window, and go down to Other Panels, and choose Scene. Now this brings up a nice window for us to have that contains each scene in order. With this window, you can reorder the scenes by dragging them up and down and moving to where they need to go. You can also delete scenes if you've messed one up. And here we can make different edits. So the scenes are a way of organizing our, our animation in Flash, dividing things up into different scenes, and making everything a lot easier to edit. So if I'm on scene one, if I simply press enter, I can view what that scene looks like by itself. However, if I choose the command enter, which is to export that video, it shows all four scenes in succession. without stopping at the end of each one. And you see I've made four scenes. I will show you when each one starts. This is scene one, then scene two, scene three, and finally scene four. Those are the requirements for the this snowboarder project is to create at least four scenes total that last at least 30 frames per scene long. And remember to use that onion skin as you're making your snowboarder move down the mountain to help you create nice smooth movement along the way. Now there are a couple of extras or additions to this project that will make it look very nice and really professional and they're actually pretty easy to create. So if I open up my next project here, I'm going to go to scene one. What One of the add-ons is to create snow in our scene. So if you look at this scene here, scene one, I've made some nice snow that falls down as the snowboarder snowboards down the mountain. Now this does contain a tween um, while the snowboarder is frame by frame animated the snow of course is falling in a linear function so it has a tween. So we'll go to scene two here 